Breaking news, my country people. Tension mounts as ECOWAS rejects Nijay Junta's plan. Issues strong ultimatum, my country people. The Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, has rejected the three-year power transition plan of the military rulers of Niger Republic. The ECOWAS Commissioner for Political Affairs, Peace and Security, Abdul Fatih Musa, said this, uh, made this known during an interview with BBC. He said that General Tishini Tiani's proposal of um, three years transition was just a small screen for dialogue and diplomacy. Musa warned that the regional bloc would not accept any prolonged transition again in the region. He called on the Niger's military rulers to be ready to hand over in the shortest possible time. The ECOWAS is not, is not accepting any prolonged transition again in the region. You just have to get ready to hand over in the shortest possible time. Because a D-Day has been set for them to attack the Niger. So, the military aspect is very much on. The earlier they give power back to the civilians and concentrate on their primary responsibility, that is defending the territorial integrity of Niger, the better for them, Musa warned. General Abdurrahmani Tishani, the leader of the Niger junta, had said in a televised broadcast on Saturday night that the army would hand over power to the civilian government within the next three years. And General Tishani, Tishani had also noted that his country, you know, did not want war, but would be ready to defend itself if necessary. Neither the army nor the people of Niger want war, but we will resist any manifestation of it. He said, according to the coup leader, the ECOWAS member states do not realize that Niger has become a, the key to containing the region from destabilization against the backdrop of increased terrorist activity. He said the sanctions imposed against the country was aimed at putting pressure on the rebels and not to find finding a solution to the current situation. He also explained that the rebels did not seek to seize power in the country but also seek to come to a solution that would meet the interests of the people. Earlier Saturday, the former Nigerian military head of state, General Abdul Salami Abubakar, had led a delegation of the Economic Community of West African States, the ECOWAS, to Niger in the last-ditch diplomatic effort to reach a peaceful solution with the Niger junta. The delegation met with the Prime Minister, Ali Lamini Zeni, who received them at the airport and led them to the presidential palace. They later met with the oust Niger's uh, president, Mohamed Bazoum, after meeting General Abdurrahmani, the head of the junta. It was the first peace talk led by General Abdul Salami Abubakar that ECOWAS activated its standby force. The pro uh, the pro coup protesters won ECOWAS against the military action. Demonstrators took to the streets in the Niger capital, Nime, on Sunday in support of the July 6 coup and warned against any foreign military intervention. A French broadcast, France 24, reported that these pro demonstrators chanted slogans hostile to the former col uh, colonial power. France and the ECOWAS, which is considering a potential military operation to reinstate the House President Bazoum if the ongoing negotiations with the coup leaders fail. The demonstrators had waved their power cards with such inscription as a stop the military intervention, no to sanctions in reference to the financial and trade restrictions imposed on Niger by the ECOWAS. The pro coup rally was accompanied by musicians praising the new military regime. Pope calls for the peace in Niger. 
Yes, my country people, let's not forget Pope Francis on Sunday had urged for a diplomatic solution to the political crisis in Niger. He addressed his congregation that whatsoever is going on in Niger, that uh, it should be resolved peacefully. And has also joined prayer, and has also joined with prayer the efforts of the international community to find a peaceful solution as soon as possible for the good of everyone. You see, we must really avoid this war with Niger. We must really, really avoid war with Niger. Why Tinibu is so involved in all of this is because he's the he's the chairman, you know, of the economic uh, community of West African states. That's the ECOWAS. He's he's the chairman. He's a member of the ECOWAS. But then, he has to avoid anything that will bring about war in Niger Republic. Because there is a need to sustain the diplomatic channels already opened by these joints are led by the General uh, Tashini Tiani to agree on the timelines for the return to diplomatic uh, government. They should work towards that. Also, my country people, we know that uh, the ECOWAS delegation, they are doing their best to make sure they engage the military, uh, the Niger military rulers to you know explore the channels of dialogue despite their first visit they were giving they gave them race they chased them out they never gave them any listening ears in fact they told them to go back during their first visit but the second visit seemed to be you know uh, a welcoming visit they seemed to be a progress in their dialogue so nigeria on its own we have we are facing our own security challenges so in various aspects we are facing with our own security challenges so mr president bolad metinibu should please anything that will bring about war we don't want nigerians don't want and the nigerians if they are they are not they are not in support of this military intervention they are not in support so it seems that the people of the niger they are in support of these uh, military junctures and we know that the country belongs to them so my country people, I don't know why ECOWAS is, you know, trying to bring about war. Meanwhile, everybody, so many people have discouraged anything that would lead to war. But the ECOWAS, they are still insisting. So guys, what are your thoughts on this issue? I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comments section. Thank you. Bye for now.